Hi, friend. I'm working on a clon clone for a friend. And I thought I'd come on and do some, uh, talk a little bit. Uh, I think what we're going to do is make a clon clone on the channel. But I'm going to redesign this because this is one of my earlier designs. It's a little bit noisy. I think I can do better. Um, but it sure does sound good. It's still my favorite pedal. Uh, here's one that I got completed. And I got a, an enclosure ready for it. I'm going to do a little bit more uh, polishing on that. See if I get it to be a mirror finish. I don't know. But right now what I'm doing is just populating this board. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm still waiting on the PCBs for the real tube build. Uh, I did look at it a little more, and it's it's pretty well messed up. Whoever had it before me really did a number on it. Well, I'm mad. I got it for a good price. Just uh, it's frustrating when you can't get down in there and uh, get the, get the uh, parts taken out. Uh, I'm sure it's that added op amp. It's it's in there very, very... The solder is very blobby. I think there's some uh, traces that are... or not traces, there's some uh, solder bridges. But just can't get in there the way it is until I take it completely apart. Which I eventually will. I just want to get the uh, the clone of it built first. Hey, here's something. Uh, I made a, uh, an order with love my switches, and as is real easy to do, I forgot to order quarter inch jacks uh, so I contacted him and he said just place a new order I'll add them to the box and I'll bump the I'll bump the uh, oh no he said I'll bump the uh, shipping charge off the second order uh, I don't have a 1.5 let me see if these will work Two of them. I'm not sure I have more pie pies in here. Well, it looks like I'm going to order from Tata today, too. That's all right. Point twos. Let's see what's at the bottom there. Nothing. All right. I have these uh, 1.43 kilo ohm resistors that I'm going to use in place of the 1.5s. They're still metal film. I trust them. That's it with the, when you're putting a pedal together. A lot of times close enough is even better than the perfect ones. Let's measure them, see what they run. One point four two eight. And they're supposed to be one point four three. Boy, that's really close, huh? One point four two eight. These are dead on. Yeah, that's plenty close enough. Uh, these are one eighth watt, but that's plenty for this part of the circuit. All right, we're looking for R seven and R eight on here. Where are they? There's R seven. There's R8. 
Now, if you can't find your part, say you have a pedal with hundreds and hundreds of parts on it, you go to your eagle. Here, I can show you. Let me start this up and I'll show you. Okay. What I'm going to show you is, if you can't find a part on your PCB, say there's hundreds and hundreds and these are a lot smaller, you could type in the bar up here, show R8. And it'll highlight it. See it right there? That's another tip. Eagle's pretty good at having great features. I did look into trying KiCad, however you say K-I-C-A-D. Um, it seems so much more involved to get a simple board going. A lot more steps. Of course, if you didn't have the parts libraries that Eagle has, it would be probably about the same number of steps. But for now, I'm just going to stick to Eagle. Dip Trace is another one I wanted to look at. Uh, I haven't got a chance to yet, but that's going to come soon. Let's see, I got those in there. Yeah, if you have a component that's a little bit off, you could still use it. I'm not a harsh stickler for demanding that every component be perfect. Um, sometimes that's part of the charm between pedals. But yeah, I would say that this 1.42, oh, I'm sorry, 1.43K is close enough to a 1.5K that nobody's going to complain. And there's tolerances anyways. These are uh, 1%, but it's, it's close. Well, I'm going to continue with this. See this? I have the uh, charge pump in there. That gives you the negative voltage and the doubling of the 9 volt. Uh, it's approximately 18 volts. Let's see. I'm going to plug this in and we'll see what the, uh, what the voltage is on the... Let's see here. I'll just hook this one up to the ground here. Not the black one. That'd be nice, huh? That one up there. And we're just going to go to each one of these. Let's see. DC voltage 20. Let's see what we're doing here. Number one is 8.47 volts. Number two, 4.8. Pin three is zero. Pin four is negative 3.4. Let's get on pin five. Negative 1.5. Pin six is 363. Pin seven is 5.13 volts and pin 8 is 8.49. See, now we have to go through these diodes here to get the doubling. So let's see what the, we have on. We got 8.49 there, 12.5 there. That's the ground side. Huh? So it's not exactly a doubling you get with it. Let's see, let's look at that schematic real quick. There it is. Yeah, pin five should be the negative voltage. Why am I only getting, there it is, negative 8.13. Doesn't give you exactly nine volts negative. Let's see, where is, coming off pin 1 and 8, goes to the diodes, and the center of the diodes will give you the 12 and a half volts. It's not exactly double, but it increases the voltage on that last op amp in the Klon circuit. Gives you a lot more headroom. But charge pump's pretty interesting thing to work with.
We'll get into that when we get into the Klon build. But I'm going to continue with this. And I'll talk to you when we're ready to get that started. All right, friend. Thanks for stopping by. At the time of recording this, it is December 31st, 2020. We're still going through the coronavirus problem, and I just hope that the videos of making these pedals and maybe that you're when you're working on them, it gets your mind off it a little bit and gets you through it a little bit easier. Hey, if you ever need to vent or talk, you know my email address. Hey, I really appreciate you subscribing and liking the videos and just watching. It's just, it's amazing to me and just thanks so much. Have a great day.